Welcome, 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 welcome to the Money Wise channel. <laughs> On the channel today, we're going to talk about inspirational events and a lot of other great money things. Um, basically going to give my reaction to a video I saw and hopefully, you know, it may, it may leave you with some type of inspiration or some type of hypeness to go after what you want to go after. You know, that's the type of videos I like to do. Just basically, basically, you know, giving you that little push because if it's already in you, it's in you. But just something you can listen to on your headphones if you're at work, you know, just get your hype and get you going and get the blood flowing so you can go after your dreams and goals. Because we all hit those hard times sometime where we're trying to figure things out. It's like there's so much going on. We're trying to figure it out. So it's always good to just have that conversation even if it's in your own head because a lot of times we we talk to ourselves right so we have to hype ourselves up so my thing is if i see something I like to react to it so you could check it out on your own you can listen to it or you could just listen to what i said about it and kind of get that energy that you can go check it out yourself whenever you get a chance because i think that's what it's about a lot of times even going to check things out on your own once you heard someone else talk about it so for today, we will be speaking on a video that I seen. And in a video, it was a guy named Ryan Leslie. And he was talking about Cassie, an artist that he had worked with. And when I saw his name first, I was like, oh, Ryan Leslie, the producer. So I was like, you know, let me check this out, see what he's talking about. Because I thought it just caught my interest from the rip. So the, the title of the video was Res Ryan Leslie interviewed on Cassie selling 650K with 650K followers. So basically 650,000 followers. She was able to sell 650 albums, which is incredible in itself. So I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this. And so I decided, you know, to give my reaction to it. And here we go. <laughs> so, first of all, Ryan Leslie, so you guys understand, he's a super producer, right? Um, that That is very talented. He can play any instrument. He literally, you can go on YouTube, put his name in, and you can see him playing live instruments. That this guy is awesome as far as talent, dealing as far as with instruments, writing his skills production is incredible so you know just put his name in ryan leslie after you watch this video put his name in and go watch him and you'll see some incredible work that he's done he's done a lot of great songs out there so like i said ryan leslie is a super music producer that worked on an artist named cassie first album um eventually um he did some work with uh bad boy records which cassie signed with as most of us know uh cassie even ended up dating diddy for a while there um also ryan leslie was an actual artist too which is funny because there's a story of ryan leslie actually dating cassie for a while and then she got signed to bad boy then you know diddy bopped in there you know what I mean? like, take that take that you know <laughs> So that's what they say. But the reality is what we know for sure is Ryan Leslie worked with Cassie first, brought her to Bad Boy, and then she started dating Diddy. That's what we know for sure. So on that note, I'm watching it and he's speaking about the music and how they built everything up. And so you got to remember, too, this is very important that we always understand how what's happening in that time period. In this time period, what used to happen is a artist, new, a new artist would get signed. And they would sign to a record label. And what they would do is they would just put the money up for the album and put the album out on the radio, play it and everything. Try to get people to like it. Hope they like it. And then they would put that artist out with a bigger artist to go on tour. Now, nobody would know exactly who this artist is. They would come to the show to see the bigger artist. Right. And there will always be this artist already on stage with the lights on. <laughs> in front of the curtain and this is the new artist and that's the way they would introduce you also playing the songs on the radio so they would be out there performing basically to an empty stadium it'd just be them by themselves and their band if they had a band sometimes they didn't even have a band they'd just be paying off the music in front of the curtain so 
that's how it was so it was trying to get people to know most time the fans wouldn't even know the artist so they definitely wasn't selling a lot of records immediately without some type of cosign if that makes sense or a feature so that was how it happened in that time period so you take someone like ryan leslie he was also a harvard student he has what he had went to school also to learn more about his music and stuff like that so he was really good at what he was doing so while he was there he was able to meet uh other people that was in computer computers and stuff like that so you gotta think facebook and all these other things they came out of all these these big college places that's where all these tech people come from majority of them so he was able to meet people and he met a computer hacker you know what I'm saying that understood how to google hack back then and what that hacker did, he was able to help Cassie, the artist, profile to be first whenever someone searched or key locked in MySpace. Whenever they locked in to try to get to MySpace, that they would automatically be searched to her profile. So let's say if you went to Google and since there was a Google hack by this hacker, you would put in MySpace, boom, it would go straight to cassie's picture so once you're seeing cassie you see her pretty face you hear the music immediately come on you're like oh i like that so you would just follow so boom 650k fans that she had now this is a big deal because you gotta remember when i said when someone usually would drop an album nobody would know who they are never seen them before first time everybody seen them was on stage maybe you like that thing she didn't have no video out or nothing at this point this is all happening organically if you want to call it that because it's not really organic it's set up but we would use the word organic so this is happening so now people see her they know what she looks like she's beautiful they like the music here we go so now when she drops her album people buy it now 650k followers that's already installed so when she did that all these kids and people knew who she was so when she finally dropped her album it sold 650k albums immediately that's called a one for one sales fans everyone that was following her bought the album now this is a big deal this is a very big deal because if you look at artists now they have 14 million followers and they can barely sell 20,000 the first week that's very important because it's hard to get people to buy but back then this had just began this was a hack and they was there to crack it off and this was the first time people felt close to the artist so they felt they had a relationship with her and that's why it worked so you gotta think cassie used myspace before drake you know before these other artists did she was the big artist on myspace she was what you would call a myspace artist she was huge on there because she had set herself up and that was through the help of the super producer ryan leslie putting things together with a hacker not just bad boy records it started there so when she came out she hit it and she was able to do big under the guidance of ryan ryan leslie because if you look at it, i don't know what her career really did too much after that she, she was very successful still beautiful honestly just they believe she just had a baby cassie's will always be remembered but that time she did with ryan leslie did help her get out there and do big things from the start so my thing is with social network prom promotion you guys got to take that serious get out there and promote yourself through these social networks grow your brand grow your brand grow your brand that's how you do it so that's my thing and i hope you guys got something out of that my thing is stay excited about life We'll be dropping more videos coming soon to inspire you. Remember, faith without works is dead. And always keep your eyes out for the small things as you're doing big things. It'd be those small things that'll blow you up, like MySpace or a little hack here, or a little thing here that you got to figure it out. Little small things. Keep your eyes out for the small things as you are doing the big things because you can do everything else, have a deal, all that stuff, do shows. But if she didn't have that, that Google hack, it wouldn't have mattered. A lot of people was on my space, but she had that little small thing that Ryan Leslie made an extra step to do. And boom, it happened for her. And we'll always also remember, th the plans change, but the goals stay the same. Like and subscribe to this Money Wise channel. Let's keep it going. Keep spreading wisdom. Like I said, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.